Hi, I'm Shauna Thomas. I'm from Craig, and I'm going to be talking to you about sea asparagus, or we call it greens. So I'll be taking you through the steps of harvesting and jarring greens. It really depends on the weather on when you harvest greens. It just depends on if we got a lot of sunlight, if we got too much rain. It could be anywhere from you know, the late June to the very beginning of July. It just, it really depends on the weather. You never want to harvest the greens when they start flowering. You'll be able to tell by looking at it, there'll be little specks of white. If it's past the time, they'll be slimy to the touch, but when they're fresh, they're crisp and just very green. When it's in the prime, it's not slimy and it's not flowering. We never ever want to pull out the whole green. We want to try to leave the roots intact so they keep growing back. When I harvest, I was taught by my grandma to kind of like twist it and kind of snap it off. The roots would be left in the ground. And you don't ever want to like harvest too much in one spot. That's why I don't know if you noticed that we were kind of going in sporadic different places to harvest it. Since we harvested the greens, you're gonna go home and you're going to rinse them over and over and over again. Some people soak them for a few minutes. You're just trying to get the mud and the dirt and anything else off of them before you jar them. So I won't use that. Some people might, but I don't. Um, if you see the difference, um, there's nothing on that. And they're starting to like bloom, bloom on these ones and not on these. So I won't use that. Everything's clean. We've washed our jars, our lids, the rings. We've cleaned all the greens. We have water ready. And now we're just gonna get started. Take a jar and just kind of stuff it in there and push it down. So there's this line right here and I just push it down until I get to it. You're going to fill the jar with the greens to about an inch from the top, and then you're going to pour some water, it doesn't have to be boiling or anything, just regular water, up to the same line. And then after you fill all of your jars with greens, all of them are filled with water, then you're going to take a washcloth or a paper towel and you're gonna clean the rim. Then you're gonna put your lids and rims on the jar and then you're going to put them in the pressure cooker. After you fill the pressure cooker, you're going to fill about two to three inches of water on the bottom of the pressure cooker. Seal it, turn the heat on high, and you will pressure cook it up until it reaches 10 pounds. You want to maintain that pressure. If you just leave it, on the same heat, the pressure will keep rising. So you have to play with the temperature of your stove, turn it down very slowly, release some of the steam until it balances at 10 pounds of pressure. 
cook it for at least 20 to 30 minutes. After I take the pressure cooker off the heat, then I will let the pressure drop naturally, and that takes about 10 to 15 minutes. I will unlock the pressure cooker and open it up and take the greens out, and they're ready to go. Your greens will be good for 18 months to three years, depending. I've never had anyone keep them that long, but since you pressure cook them, they're good for at least a year and a half. 